really well. I hope you are having a beautiful morning because you get to see me from early morning. So, um, so when you see a person technically, or he or she gonna ask you, hey, how you doing? How are you? Conditionally or unconditionally, we're gonna say, hey, I'm okay. How about you? But are you really okay? Sometimes we think that um, feeling okay is really okay. But actually, not feeling okay is the first step of being okay. Not feeling happy is the first step of being happy. We just sometimes get stressed and we rush to label stress is the source of only negativity, right? You think when you see the word stress, you get to see, you get to think that it's the source of all your problems and you're gonna only get uh, depressed, you're gonna be under stress, but do not rush. Um, you can think that now I'm gonna say some beautiful words, you can think that I'm going to change your life, but technically, do you think that uh, 15 minutes of my speech can change your life? Um, to be modest and to be honest, I cannot change your life for this 15 minutes. I cannot, but I can change one thing, but can change your whole life, which is your mindset, which is the way of thinking. I mean, um, well, when you get stressed, you can have, yes, I admit, you can have some sleep disorders that you cannot sleep, you can get obsessed about problems, or you can lose, um, uh, your passion for change yourself, your passion to live further, because you just sit and do nothing. You just want to just sit, not thinking about what is going to next, right? And it kind of causes also anxiety, which is a bit um, stressful. And um, I prepared some photos which can, oops. So it's not moved to another slide, so it's okay. Um, but you know what? We all have problems. We have, we all have stress. Even now, when I'm speaking here, maybe some of you are listening to me. Maybe some of you are not listening. Why? Maybe you are thinking of your own problem, and it's okay. I don't force you to listen to me because maybe you have more serious problems than this speech. But you know, these problems are the source of luck. If you have problems, then you are lucky. Accept my congratulations. I mean, why? Because this can be the next step of your life, which can better you. I mean, um, I had also one problem which made me so stressed, but this was the problem which made me live, which took me out of depression. I mean, um, back four years when I was a first year student at Urgenz University, I was just uh, doing my bachelor's and I fell in love with one guy who, is, who was the number one hottest guy of the whole university. I was just, you know, a first year student. I was just only 17. And then I was so after him. I was so into him. But you know, that time I was only devoting my old uh, day, old time to studies. So I was not looking after me as a girl. But I, uh, which means that I didn't have enough gas, I didn't have enough confidence to just go and talk to him. Because I thought that he would reject me because there were a lot of beautiful girls. And that time, after two months, after following him hiddenly from back <laughs> for two months, uh, I was in the class of history, I was at the history class. Uh, I got a message on Facebook. I just checked it and this freaked me out because I got a message from the number one hottest guy of the whole university. Can you imagine that? I couldn't. I, it just took me like 10 minutes just to say hello back. It just took me 10 minutes. I had a shaking hands. And um, since that time, we started talking every day, all the day, all the night, and then we started completing each other. We started sharing ideas. We started living. I mean, not living well, technically, literally, figuratively, because we had a lot of things in common. I 
was so happy thinking that I finally found someone which can be the same like me. And for it happened, it lasted, it continued for two years. For two years, we, like, I don't know, technically uh, shared our lives together. But one day, I realized that as we were, because we were so young, um, the end of our relationship was only full of quarrels, arguments, and because of my studies, I didn't want to be disturbed. I just told him, like, Shahrukh, can we just take a break? Because I don't want to be mentally tortured right now. I don't want to be distracted by this stuff. And he didn't want, but I did. I made him, I made him out from all social media. I blocked him. I deleted him. And I've, it, it was kind of uh, a month later. Again, I was at university having a lesson. That time, my friend came up to me seriously and asked, uh, Guli, how are you? I was so surprised because it was at the middle of the lesson and out of blue, she asked me how I was. So I said, damn, I'm okay. So why are you asking? And she again repeated the question, Guli, are you really okay? And I said, damn, yeah, I'm, I am okay. So what's happening? What's up? And she told me, oh my God, he died. I answered like, I asked it like, what? Who died? I mean, Shahrukh died yesterday. Didn't you hear about it? I was frozen. I couldn't breathe. Uh, it turned out that he had a cancer. When he wanted to tell about it to me, I just ignored him. I didn't listen to him. Could you imagine? I was so depressed. I was under high level of stress. I realized at that time that um, movies are not made up. Movies are taken from life because literally I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat anything because I was only blaming myself for not listening to him, for not spending his last moments with me. So, but I realized that stress helped me that time to get out of the situation. Like, how? I mean, um, when I got stressed, I realized that stress helped me in three ways. The first way is, just imagine, I, I, get, I have a quick question to you. When you have a problem, do you want to see people? No. Do you want to talk to people? No. You just hide yourself into the room, right? You have a, like your own room in the, at home. And you just, when you have stress, you just rush to that room and lock yourself behind it. Yes? Because you don't want to see people. You don't want to talk to people. You don't want to share your problems to people. This is how stress helps you in the first place. I mean, whenever you are stressed, you buy some time for yourself. You will have only you time. Which means that, um, which means that in a normal life, when you have just problems, you just rush to your friends, I have a problem. You just rush to your family or mom is, mom, I have a problem, yes? And I mean, like, it's okay to rush to them because they are your own close people. Um, why I cannot move this? Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is how I look when I get stressed. Um, look at this picture, please. Look at this. So what can you see? What can you literally see? Some people see the city. Some people see diff totally different thing. Some person, like my friend, saw a photo of the a person. I don't know what the hell he was talking. The same happens. I mean, everyone can see it from different angle. Everyone can see it differently. The same with your problems. Everyone, everyone has their own life. The same with their problems. If I have a problem, if I ask her advice, she can give totally different advice than the person next to her. Um, which means that maybe she has different problems. I have different problems. She has different solutions to this. I have different solutions for my problem. And this happens. When you get distracted by company of a lot of people, we get more stressed. 
because you try her advice also, his recommendation also, but you never ask yourself, what's the problem? What's the solution? Maybe I can solve this problem myself without control supervision of people, which means that stress can give you time for, oops, for sitting alone, talking to yourself, feeling yourself, and then finding your problems, sorting them out, and giving them possible solutions only yourself. Because nobody can understand you better than you. Nobody can know you better than you. Yes? Nobody can feel what's happening inside. And the second one is, if you are also an art person like me, you don't want to share your words with people because of two reasons. The first reason, you don't want to burden people with your own problems because um, she has her own life. She has also problems. Why should I be extra problem to them by telling my, you know, problems? And second, you know, maybe sometimes you feel a bit ashamed to tell all of your words, even to your mom. Even to your mom, you don't share all your words, yes? That time, get a pen and paper and start writing them down. Put your emotions on a paper because it cannot ask you why. It cannot ask you how. You just write them down. The same happened to me. Can you imagine that? I wrote a book after I got stressed the, about my, that relationship with Shahru. I got so depressed and I started writing because I didn't want to talk about it to my friends. I don't want to cry like a baby to my mom. That's why I just started writing. And then, can you imagine, after I publishing it, in a week, it was sold out. It was sold out. I just bought an iPhone for the price of this book. I mean, we can first earn money. And then we can just write a book as an author. Because when you're writing something, when you get stressed, it's not your mind which is writing these words. It's your heart which is feeling every single word that you are writing down. That's why be stressed and be a millionaire. And then this is my first novel called Jane. And... The second psychological trailer called something. Okay, so as I told, oops, as I told, uh, you can be, we can be, everyone, everyone sitting is here can be an artist. You can say, what the hell is this girl calling me artist? Why? I cannot draw. You can just get a painter. Splash the colors on a paper, and you can get an abstract art from them. I mean, look at this. Oops, oops. You can look at my work. Is it scary? <laughs> yes. People ask me, where is the mouse? You forgot to draw a mouse. Damn, did I forget to write, draw a mouse? Okay, people think that it's a bit scary, but it's not. Why didn't I draw a mouse? Why do you think? What do you think? Why? Give us think about it. Um, maybe you think that I totally forget, really. No. I mean, like, sometimes eyes can talk more than a mouse. Yes? Just imagine you are so stressed. You, co you just go up to your mom and look at her. You cannot say anything, but she can feel you. How? Because of your eyes yes and this is how people say is it killing or something <laughs> why because she has nothing to wear she's so dirty <laughs> and i don't know it's it's up to you it's up to you how you feel this is what i drew when i got stressed when in a normal life typically when i do something it doesn't work because i don't feel it but when i get stressed if i draw something i feel every inch of it and um, another interesting fact uh, according to Wikipedia 
there is a right hemisphere of your brain which is responsible for your artistic skill, which means your drawing skill, your singing skill, your competence, and the right hemisphere. And if you do some good meditation, it can increase the productivity of that right hemisphere to 45%. Just 45%. This right hemisphere is also responsible for socializing. You think that sometimes you are introvert, sometimes you are extrovert. Why? Because of this right hemisphere. If you have stress, it works better than good meditation. <laughs> it's so funny, right? I mean, if you get stressed, you can get improved the right hemisphere of yours to 68.5%, uh, which is higher for almost 20%, right? Which means that if you get stressed, you are lucky. And... <laughs> what is that? So did anyone notice that I use it different font, different background color to one of my slides? Please raise your hand if you some of you just noticed, spotted it. You didn't. Maybe some of you did. If you did, then you are like it again. Why? Because sometimes we just skip some small details which can cause, which can lead to bigger happiness. The same with stress. We always label stress as a source of negativity, but it's not. You, look, you can look at this, it's my birthday cake, which is made by my sister. That time I received a lot of birthday cakes, which are fancy, which are so expensive, but still, it's special for me. Why? Because it's done with kindness, it's done with small details, which means that it made me much happier. Now, um, I need one volunteer. I, do, I need one volunteer. Um, but think about it twice. The task is a bit um, difficult. So, but it can be rewarding. So I need one volunteer, please. One, only one volunteer. Any brave? Yes, please come. Yes, please come. And here is a 10,000 soon. You can take your seat. <laughs> there is nothing for you to do. And when I ask the question, please, I need a volunteer. Everyone wanted to come to the stage. But you had a thought, what if I go and she gives some difficult question to me? I feel embarrassed. Damn. What if I, I get humiliated in front of people? No, I don't want. It's better to me to sit here, right? You did. You think about it. Sometimes fear can also lead to a loss of happiness. So do not fear to get stressed. Do not fear to get under depression because you can change every negative thing into positive thing. It's all about you. Everything is in your hand. And still, if you cannot be happy, please call this girl. She can help you. She can help you. She can do her best to help you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.